after the mesh has been created, what we're going to do is right click and update. Then we're going to double click on setup. Making sure that we're in double position and we've got four cores running. Uh, if you've got a four core machine, press OK. With Ansys Fluent running, what we're going to do is set the turbulence model to KMEGA SST. We're going to set the inlet velocity to 10 meters per second. The ground at 10 meters per second in the positive x direction. And the sky we can set as a specific shear of 0 and 0. Right click on report to def definitions and create a force for lift. We're going to report it, plot it, and print it to console as well. And then we can run calculations, let it go for around 200 iterations. You can see after 80 iterations, the solution has actually converged under the co convergence criteria. And the lift plot has started to even out. What we'll do is go into our monitors, however, in the residuals, just turn off convergence and just let it go until it actually resolves. You can see when we've got to let it go for a little bit longer, our force, our force on the actual wing isn't actually changing, and our residuals are continuing to go down. So we can deem this simulation to be converged. With our simulation run, we can start to look at the actual results. So in this particular case, I've created static pressure on the fluid. And looking at it, we can see we've got low static pressure underneath the wing. We've got our stagnation point, which you can see isn't quite on the actual leading edge. We can also look at velocity. Again, our stagnation isn't quite on the actual leading edge, which is a little bit higher. And we can visibly see we've got some separation around here. We can also look at the velocity vectors. <coughs> then the other thing that we can do is start to plot certain quantities. So in this particular case, we're plotting static pressure on the lower and the upper surfaces. We can see the lower surface, right, which is in black, how we've got this large dip in static pressure, and the upper surface, we're relatively high. Next thing we can have a look at is the wall shear stress on the lower section of the wing. We can see that when it hits zero is when the wing will actually separate. So we're seeing that towards the last, you know, the last 20% of the actual wing itself. We can also have a look at the Y plus. Again, we can see that in areas of interest in the lower, all of it's roughly below one. <coughs> we can also take forces. We can select the force, the direction vector, and the components that we're interested in, and it will print it out at the bottom as well.